Hi, this is Simon from Tokyo Productions and welcome to this quick tip for Apple Motion 5. Now, one of you pointed out that I don't use the shortcut Command Shift G when adding layers to a new group, instead of which I make a new group and then drag the layers in. So let me just explain why I do that. I've got um, a guide here, this yellow ob object, just to give us a idea of what's happening, and two rectangles. and I'm going to line one of them up here, another of them up here. Then I'm going to select them both and I'll use the Command Shift G shortcut to add them to a new group. Now everything appears to have stayed the same, but if we come to the transform for that group, F1, you'll see something a little bit odd. We're almost in the center, but we're not quite. Now, why is that? Let's look at another example. Let's undo all that. Let me move one of these rectangles to about there. And let, let me select them both again and Command Shift G. And now see what happens. If I do F1, the position of that group is just like all over the place. So that's something that I really don't like because I want my new group to be at zero on X and Y. I don't want it to be have these really strange numbers which will really confuse me later on down the line. So if we undo that again, and if I make a new group just above rectangle one, command shift N, select them both, drag them into that group, and we look at the properties for that group. Perfect. The X and Y position are exactly where we want them. And the center, the transformed center is an, indeed in the center of the screen. Whereas undo that again, if we do it the other way, Command Shift G, look where the transform center is. It's over here, centered between the two objects. And that really explains the anomaly. I don't think it's a bug, but it means that the Command Shift G shortcut is not really a good way to go. Okay, I hope that's explained it. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Catch you soon.